The anchoring effect and its repercussions in society. The anchoring effect is a prevalent concept in many fields, including psychology and statistics. In fact, many studies have highlighted the problems that people face as a result of this phenomenon. The key points that are going to be discussed in this video are as follows. First, we will examine exactly what the anchoring effect is. Then, we will look at four separate cases. In case one, we will see how the anchoring effect contributes to making financial decisions and how people sometimes lose me money because of it. In case two, we will observe the effect of the anchoring effect in shaping salary negotiations. In the third case, we will discuss other, not money-related effects on life as a result of the anchoring effect. And finally, we will look at a case in which the anchoring effect is actually helpful. So, what exactly is the anchoring effect? Daniel Kahneman is a world-renowned psychologist who has studied the anchoring effect and wrote about it. In his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, he explains that the anchoring effect occurs when people consider a particular value for an unknown quantity before estimating that quantity. Essentially, a number is used as an anchor on which to base future estimates or values. In his article, David McRenay explains how the anchoring effect plays into everyday decisions. Many people believe they are weighing out all their options when in reality they are influenced by certain values, the anchors which affect their perceptions and decisions, the anchoring effect. Case 1. Purchasing products, pricing products, and making financial decisions. Financial repercussions are one of the largest issues that result from the anchoring effect. Consider the following scenarios when buying a car. In scenario A, the car is listed for $25,000 online, but at the dealership the price is negotiated down to $22,000. In scenario B, the person thinks the car will be $20,000, but they get it for $22,000. Although the price is the same for both people, person A is excited and person B is disappointed because they anchored their price expectations at different values. A similar process can be examined when buying a house. In this scenario, two people buy a house for $50,000 less than the asking price. However, the seller likely predicted this would happen and probably still got more than he really expected. In this final experiment, a product was sold at $34, $39, and $44, but it sold best at $39. People generally anchored their expectations at the closest multiple of 10, so $39 seemed to beat the anchor. All of these examples show that money is often wasted or lost due to anchoring expectations. Case 2. Negotiations in Salaries An article by Very Well Mind shows how using an anchor when discussing pay with your boss works. It proposes that whoever suggests the first number has the advantage because this number will serve as an anchor for all future considered numbers. If you don't suggest the number, the boss will likely give you less than if you anchor the potential salary at a higher starting point. Case 3. There are many ways anchoring plays into parts of life that don't involve money. Consider this example with restaurant waiting times. In scenario A, this party is told to expect a 15 minute waiting time and they get their table in 25 minutes, making them angry. In scenario B, this party is told to expect a 30 minute waiting time but they get their table in 25, making them happy. Although both parties got their table in the same time, they reacted differently because their expectations were anchored differently. Other examples of anchoring are also present in everyday situations. For example, when asked what age one should be able to stay out past midnight, they might anchor their answer based on their childhood rules. If they were allowed to do that at age 16, they will likely answer close to that number. When asked how many hours a day to spend on electronics, one might anchor their response to the number they read online or suggested by their doctor. It is evident that people anchor responses to questions based on what they know and their pasts. So, why is anchoring effect a problem? There is an evident problem of psychological manipulation by different groups of people in everyday life. Furthermore, companies can take advantage of people by predisposing them to think a specific way with anchors. Essentially, people's expectations are increased, therefore they are more likely to get disappointed. Case 4. Looking at a case in which the anchoring effect is actually useful and needed. Around five years ago, JCPenney adopted a movement in which they stopped the use of coupons and promoted an everyday low price. For the stores, this made economic sense because it saved them costs of advertising and changing prices in stores. For customers, they were always getting a good deal, yet somehow the sales still decreased. This is because people did not have anything to anchor their deals on and were less inclined to make purchases. In this case, the anchoring effect was needed. In summary, there are many negative effects of anchoring. Most obviously, people suffer financially because they pay more than they should be paying. 
Also, there is psychological manipulation. Lastly, people make poor choices because they base decisions on anchors instead of on a wide range of information. In order to avoid the adverse effects of the anchoring effect in your own life, you should study all information available to you instead of just using one base number. In conclusion, please find references used for this video on the following slide and in the description box below.